Maybe. Hopefully. Mm. Anyway. Uh, have you ever seen the Suction Cup Man videos? No. Well, we need to show you those. We'll see about those later. Anyway, what was I going to say? Um, thank you all for coming by. Hello. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I've never played Thief. I played some stealth games. I'm not the best at them, and I, uh, when I was younger, I would kind of get angry when I was playing Metal Gear Solid, the collection, and just, you know, kind of shoot everything and say, there, I'm stealth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what was. I'm. Yeah, the only stealth I can. Oh, I was about to say I got better at Metal Gear Solid Five. I did do well enough not to worry about that. But yeah. Yep. Um. The only one I ever did was follow Cybertron, because the Guardians weren't worth it. Huh. I do want to try Thief at some point, but we'll see where that goes. Anyway, we're looking at a mod spotlight. Oh. Thief the Black Parade. Wonder what that's about. When I was a young boy, my father oh. took me into the city. Oh, the just drop them down there. Man. Just knock out people with the blacks you can knock. <sighs> you grow up, huh? you be the savior of the beast. The broken and the damned. I don't think we're involved in this one. Listen, I had to sing Black Friday. Oh, what the hell? This wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, he has an alarm. That's a strange alarm. A few days ago on December 1st, Thief the Dark Project had its 25th birthday. And in oh. a complete surprise move, a fan campaign called the Black Parade released. This was in development okay. nearly a decade and brought to you by some of the Thief scene's greatest fan mission creators. So, seeing that it was finally out, I figured I'd try out a mission or two, and then get back on schedule. And then the very, huh. very first mission... From the sound of it, that's not how this went. Yeah! ...to the city across multiple districts. Oh, yeah, there we and go. And then the very first know. mission like was that, a like that one RP Street city. where, he was, uh, where uh, he was sponsored to play Astrobot. He's like, yeah, they only sponsored me to make a 10 minute video. As you can see, I cleared the whole game in one stream. Yeah. And then the very first mission was a sprawling return to the city across multiple districts. Oh. This was the mission I spent hours on and kept coming back to and streams. kept finding new secrets. It also mm -hmm. debuted the Dark what? Engine. What did I say? You should do some Thief streams. This was a pretty good series from what I've heard. Yeah, the problem is the age of the games. I'm not sure how I would get them running. I love that horse, though. Look at him. Hmm horse which i find equally terrifying and charming. oh dear god i already have a decent yeah. folder of unsettling horses so that'll fit why do you have a folder of unsettling horses i mean to unsettle you with woofy but i like horses my family used to raise them well part the older part of my family yeah right and then the second mission was a huge manor which oh and I kept playing missions until I... How many missions do they have? You know, I expect to be chased and hunted in thief games. But in the Black Parade, there were parts where every fiber of my being did not want to be caught. Oh. Oh. What the hell is that sound? In a year yeah. That was packed with some great yeah. That those sounds can make me go. I don't want to be here longer than I have to. The whoever made this mod knows how to make unsettling sounds, which is good if you're trying to make a horror game, a stealth game, maybe. Can some horror games classify as stealth games? I don't know. You do. You be the decider down below. Maybe we'll have a conversation about this later. This is actually a good idea for a video later. Yep. Because uh, some horror games I do think can be considered basically just stealth games where you can't get caught because you die immediately. Great releases for games. Amnesia. This was one of my favorites of yeah. the year, and it would feel wrong not to scream into the void about it. So first things first. 
To get the Black Parade, it's just on Mod DB or the Looking Glass forums. Okay. On Mod DB, you can also click to vote it as Mod of the Year, so I'll just pin that down in the comments. Oh, nice. The page also links to a detailed blog which tells nice. you how to install fan missions, which is good, but you can Wild West it and override your copy of Thief Gold with a zip and be just fine. You should oh. install Thief X Lite first, which I did cover in the video about the base game. Huh. If you load up Thief Gold and get this menu, <coughs> when you hit New Game, you are fast to stop remembering it's a mod. Oh. Ooh, it's that good, huh? Yeah. These guys should make their own game at this point. The mission briefings are fully here. The snippets from the lore, the illustration. Dear God, do you, like I say, some modders should literally just make their own games. <laughs> like, the some of the people that I've seen for, um... Uh... God damn it, what am I thinking? Yu-Gi-Oh! Not Darkest of Dimension, I'm trying to think. Du uh, Duelist of the Roses should just make their own version of that. Which, if I can, I will try and make my eventually. own version eventually Change if i can and, its people. and then sometimes the production value goes that extra mile oh. there are 10 huge missions to beat and the journey will be fully narrated you won't be playing as garrett this round ten. and the black parade Damn. is a prequel instead you play as a thieves guild member named hume who's just been released from seven Thief years guild. of hard prison labor yeah, okay nothing. these old streets seem familiar and now darker more twisted by the looks of it, twist. the city has it's become like even more dangerous soul. than it was before. Well, he I mean, he's been man. just out of prison after 10 years. 10 years is a long time. A lot of things can oh, change. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. I, I, putting aside the fact that I don't want to climb up, I can't imagine going to prison. I can't imagine that much of my life just in a box. Yeah, I'd go insane. Sorry, I was sneezing. Uh, it hurt. Ooh. I know. Back to the video. Master Thief like Garrett. He's not a keeper or even had keeper training. Oh. He did discover a keeper light gem early in his career, which helped out a lot, but not enough to keep him out of prison. So he's literally he just a also taken contracts for brutal attacks and assassinations, and when he does avoid killing, it's only out of pure job efficiency. Compared to Garrett, he's a brutal, hardened criminal who will do just about anything to survive. He goes through a few clients during the campaign, including a few familiar ones. But also, oh. like the mainline games, you're mainly doing jobs and won't see the bigger picture until farther in. Makes there sense. There is a unique twist on this because during the entire game, you're getting insights and information that apply across the entire Thief trilogy. As an example, you can learn more about oh. the different sects of Hammers and understand more how someone like Karis came to be in power. You I don't want to know about Hammers sex. You can learn about them and their <laughs> Hammers are basically a religion because their god is the Builder. And their devil is basically the Woodsy Man. Fuck you, I want a nice wood floor. <laughs> no, the woodsy man represents the harshness of the forest. And basically, yeah, yeah, whatever. You want you want heated seats. The builders is quite literally all about building. Quite literally. Anyway, that's from what I know from his video about thief. Anyway, back to the thing. Purpose. Learning the reasoning behind their operations actually helps to plug some holes in Thief Deadly Shadows. Oh. Again, it's incredible how fast my brain just threw out this was a mod and accepted everything written down here as canon. It's crazy. If you consider this was a passion project made by Thief super yeah. fans over seven years, then yeah, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. It does a lot to establish and enhance the stories of later games, but also just nerd shit too. There's planting for new technologies and even architecture changes that would come in Thief 2. They didn't have so to really, do this, if they did. can trust was just a building ahead of its time. They did. There's the paperwork to prove it. And don't get me wrong, this fan service -y kind of stuff isn't the focus of the story. But if you accept it into your heart, it adds something to the later games, and especially Deadly Shadows. That's very the nice. The looks of the setting it gives you, both through the writing and just yeah. being there, do make the world of Thief even more terrifying. Buildings scale up to countries when it comes to building walls upon walls to keep the terrors out. Keepers outright destroy knowledge of some creatures and lands to prevent madness. Oh. W oh. Even if the tale narrated by the author of this book is nothing but a fraction of the oral origins of the great... Icy waste in order by it was burned a few pages of this book for the sake of sanity. God damn. Don't worry, you'll get plenty firsthand. Oh Thief 2 took a more steampunk turn. We are fully back in the supernatural world of Thief the Dark Project. That's not where it's good. normal to stumble across the undead or a haunted painting, or creatures who dwell in the abyss whose form is hard to comprehend. You've still got hammer technology, rudimentary electricity, and other gizmos that don't always mm. work right. But now they can break in new and more dynamic ways. What? Oh, they broke because well, of that. 
Holy shit, I lucked out. There are a few new mechanics, not a whole lot, and some are alterations of Thief 2s. We oh. have disruptor grenades that can temporarily shut down cameras and other electronics. Smoke bombs for driving off little creatures or making an escape. Invisibility Smoke potions, bomb. but nerf yeah. cannot be a pure get out of jail free card like Thief 2. And strength potions for carrying more faster and hitting harder. I guess you can also slide banners across instead of cutting them down with a sword to peek behind them. The point is, you don't have much in the way of new toys, but Thief doesn't need them. They gave mm. you such a tight and focused tool set that there's not a whole lot you could add without breaking the formula. What they have added is lots and lots of new challenges to overcome. There's a monster menagerie of new creatures and undead, Ooh. and many will only appear one time. Human guards could be fully armored and immune to conventional weapons, or use crossbows, halberds, all sorts of new stuff. Nice. On top of all the weapons and equipment they have, they have new behaviors as well. Like some NPCs will relight torches or clean moss off the floor. What worked before can usually still work, but they'll throw a wrench into your plans just enough to keep you on your toes more. And there's no better example than the missions and maps themselves. The scale the Black Parade operates on is gigantic. Dear if this God. mod had a tagline, it should be, it keeps going. Because you'll find yourself saying that a lot playing these missions. But what kicks ass is the design isn't convoluted or tedious for no reason. There were oh. missions I hoped just went on forever. And it's because the pacing is so incredible and just refined and improved from Thief proper. Dear Everyone has God. with the trilogy where, oh, this felt stale or this Dear was God. clearly rushed. These are levels you spend hours in and when you think you found... It feels like he's talking about each level was someone's baby. Like they fine crafted it just the way they wanted it. And Sounds like it. Because, dear God, when when video game developers or devs usually get things, like, just the right way because they know how a player will look at it and do it, it, it can create such amazing moments, you know? God damn. Yeah. Found your new favorite mission, you suddenly get a new one. And there have been oh. great fan missions before or campaigns like Thief 2X. But in comparison, the levels here have been slow cooking for years and the results speak for themselves. To give a pacing damn. example, you have the Bone Horde and Thief. Your insertion point is a tiny little crypt area and you move on from there. The Black Parade's first tomb has a city district above it. All the locals are fully voice acted and they added lots of new animations for little wow. interactions. You can take a good amount of time to explore the surface before descending down. It's a density that would make computers at the time explode, but you can do it now. So huh. you have to go through a quiet urban area before finding the tomb, and the tomb will keep going, and going, and going. But it's not static or repetitive, you keep cracking open new areas that are unique. You're getting ah. new challenges, like avoiding the light or avoiding an unspeakable ah. monster. Oof. And I wouldn't reduce it down to just, this is the Bone Horde 2.0, because there's such a greater variety of challenges, and the level design is so much denser. The tomb's area can open up and then collapse back in, you <laughs> try to it for a while and end up in somewhere completely different. The missions keep Dear going, Lord. but they keep rewarding you for it too. And having the extended areas before the main event adds a lot to the tension. One mission has you trying to find the tomb's entrance in a forest at night. And there are oh, a lot of wow. signs that this forest is probably going to send you to the ICU. So oh. you're already feeling on edge, uncertain, and lost, and then the entrance is a big hole in the ground that just has nothing in it. You're in the abyss, and it handles elemental challenges way better than Mage Tower. It's like you're in a very creepy version of a Zelda temple. Dear God, just suddenly yeah. going out into creepier and creepier places. First person Zelda, bitch. Kinda, but uh, in a very creepy way, not in a good way whatsoever. Dear God, that could be horrifying. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Let's get back into this because I'm First getting interested. And no matter how awful it gets, yeah. in the back of your mind, you're still thinking, I have to go through that forest again. And when oh. you do, there's nothing yeah. like it. Having so much room to maneuver before the missions really changes the feeling of the game. You had some like Life of the Party that gave you a ton of room, but here, you so often have way more agency. Because sure, there are a lot more ways of breaking in than ever before, but they've added so much to the game that you're not sure what kinds of obstacles might be waiting for you. Uh. One of my favorites for this is the second mission. This is a walk through the city and then break into the Rich Manor mission, which Thief has had plenty of before. Okay. It's by the Agrippa Meat Market, and we'll hear more from Agrippa soon. Uh. In the case of the Hailford Manor, it dominates the whole neighborhood. Plenty of guards patrol the streets, and the sewers, which it has plenty of control over. Your map is pretty amazingly detailed for this one, too. There's a detailed map of the basement, the first floor, and the second floor. There are notes for sewer entrances, and only the second floor is kind of vague, and only in a few rooms. Huh. You can try your hand exploring around town, since there are plenty of sewer connections. It's just finding the right one that's less guarded, or try your hand at the roof, or break in from the front when the local starts drinking from the Lord's Fountain. What? Ah. That's oh, actually man. pretty smart. Because he's too focused on dealing with that. The 
The basement has plenty of guards and a music class ongoing, but the first floor oh. is extremely ornate and filled with artwork. There are fashion mannequins, a bar and lounge area. It's actually a more vibrant estate than most others, with plenty of guards and servants working around. Makes sense. This is how computer, our estates it's are. It's incredibly reliable and accurate. It's when you enter those few unknown rooms that things begin to change. Uh, the Lord is an eccentric with ties to pagans, and he displays all of this very openly. I mean, from his very front door, he's not hiding the influence. But it does make the shift in architecture easier to creep up on you. As you get deeper into the house, you go below the basement. You go um, below the sewer. Oh. And the house keeps extending downward, the architecture oh. getting more bizarre, and traps appearing here and there. Uh, he might be in league with some, um, unsavory types, do you think? Would you believe? So my mind tries to guess what you're going to say next. The very word on the tip of my tongue. Unsavory. Hmm. That's... Wow. I'm actually surprised by that. So the obvious thing to think is, oh, this Me too, is the but at the again. same time... The treasury... It's a good word. Yeah, it's a good word to describe someone without immediately showing full hand and there. It floats around in the air like the sword. The thing is, oh. the sword is fairly Very quick in letting you know it'll be weird, and in context... Hmm. It's around in the air like the sword. Let me go back a bit. The obvious thing to think is, oh, this is the sword again. Yeah. The treasure even floats around in the air like the sword. The thing is, the sword is fairly quick in letting you know it'll be weird, and in context, you eventually learn why parts of this place are so reality-breaking. Constantine's Manor was a death trap honeypot. This is something practical to somebody. Uh... Parts have obvious uses, but these get more eldritch and disturbing the farther in you go. Why is the Fair bottom work. opening into a misty black abyss? In Thief, it's a huge turning point and sets up everything. Here, it's mission two. We've gone Dear through pagan God. magic before, and that might not be all that's being involved. Is that a river of I'm blood? I'm positive there are secrets I still haven't found here. Or found the blood? Dear God. Yeah. Yeah, you know, blood found brings the whole place together. Can I doubt that? I don't know why. You... Well, he says it. Um, Maylor's probably going to reveal what it means. It could just be because Some the atmosphere this. is so hostile and oppressive that it makes me want to believe G that. Hume's story will have him dealing with a new kind of supernatural force, but they trickle these to you throughout the entire game. What is the Black uh. Parade? Is there a young boy in the basement? One of those questions will be answered. Uh, well then. It's, 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 I, give me a second, I got a cough. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. That was not something I wanted to hear. Not, not the cough thing, but uh, one of those questions will be answered. Yeah, it's, um, dealing with this pagan, or I should say, in context of this pagan stuff is, knowing what's going on is, even makes it worse. Uh, so it yeah. It does get worse. I've disliked or outright hated, but this is yeah. nothing but home runs. The only weakness I can think of is that it is so deep end, a newcomer to the series will absolutely drown. The creators assume you've played one of the first two games, if I not mean, both, which you really should if you haven't already. I mean... Why wouldn't you at this point if you're playing this mod? Specifically this yeah. one. This is a mod that you heard of because you're a fan of Thief. This is a mod. This is this mod is a love letter to all the fans, quite literally. Why would you play why would you not play the others before this? This is made for uh, literally other lovers of the Thief games. This can have some of the same old people or AI you. breaking down, but mm. it is a monument in making people. gigantic, well-paced, intricate, and engaging levels. Garrett and Smash Not just the thief skill, either. Wait, what? I mean, this is some that was a thing? No. Oh, okay. For me, I thought... ...intricate, and engaging levels. Okay. Not just the thief skill, either. I mean, this is some of the best stuff in games, period. It might yeah. have come out too late to make ModDB's Mod of 2023. Maybe. But somehow, 25 years after the first game, and, uh, uh, I think Thief hit its high point. It engages you, it's tense, it's scary, it's silly. <laughs> you cannot stop playing it, and it's free. And that's my endorsement. I have sleep to catch up on, so I'll get back on the schedule. Oh. Oh. Uh. Well then. Yeah. Any plans for Rogue Trader coverage? I would think not for at least a year. And that has nothing to do with the game itself. Most RPGs like that, I usually just hold off a year. Yeah. Because they're such big games, they have bugs, they have performance issues, there's just stuff all over with them. True. I broke Listen, my rules for that with Baldur's Gate 3, and I started paying for that in Act 3 when it was really bugging down, but that's better now, but again, I just try to wait for those games if I can. 
Do I miss that? That is actually the sad part of some games nowadays, is it feels like you have to wait to make sure that they're good. Yeah. <sighs> that is always a downside. I'm hoping sooner or later that will stop, but we'll see in the future. We'll, we'll see how we'll it goes. We'll see. Genetic interfaces. We'll all see. Yeah, definitely, but there's still a good middle ground to find. In general, games have been going for minimalism a lot more, which I'm not sure I'm... is a purely artistic decision or an efficiency one. It's I'd probably like both. It to be readable and usable, but it doesn't have to be boring. But when you're making a game, that first part is the more important one. Yeah. Ah, Black Parade question, and yes, I was not expecting that connection to show up. I didn't think it would be so drastic to show up. Uh, let me see what it says. part is the more important one. Ah, Black. You have a notion. And you met her in the Great restricted question, library. Yes. I was not expecting that connection to show up. I didn't think it would be so drastic. It completely threw me off and has made me appreciate that character a lot more. So, huh. that was another great certified Black Parade surprise. Let me walk into your what? What? I was too French even for me. What the hell was that? I mean, too French even for you're fucking Texan. Yes, but so my heritage are all over the place. I see. Anyway, thank you all so much. And uh, got any last words for the people? Multitudes. Okay. That wasn't what I meant, but anyway. Thank you all so much for coming by. If you like what we're doing here, guess what? I stream almost every day. So you can watch that. You do. And, uh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, because it lets us know how you like our stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. I do still really want to make that video game, but that's for later. Bye-bye. Later, man. See you later.